Alrighty, y'all. This is how we start in this. All right, now let me start playing with y'all for a second. But I want to talk about something because um, I made a video the other day. Um, and surprisingly, your boy didn't get much backlash. Um, because thankfully, some people actually use your brain. I only got some funny comments, but I didn't get no backlash. On the dislike Skag W, but um, basically I want to talk about this because obviously a lot of people are like, hmm, well this kind of sucks. I mean this video kind of just proves that you need to have a specific set of characters. And talk about this video, the one that says you need you need to have on EK for fast progression, right? Obviously some people watch this video and were like, oh, so basically you need to have the pilgrims or how am I gonna have the like. If I don't have these characters, I just can't play the game. No, this literally says, I mean, I put it in caps for people to understand, but I guess not. I mean, it says fast progression. So if you don't have these characters, it just means you're not going to have fast progression. But I want to talk about, obviously, um, the not necessarily the wish list, but just how Nikkei has been doing in terms of giving out good characters, not necessarily giving them out, but having access to these good characters for real. Right? I want to go back down like the Elysian, Mistilis, and Tetra and tell you guys, okay, there's a lot of how like I just want to see how many good characters they got in the game for each class that you have access to while summoning. Right. And I'm going to let you guys know which one is as well. So if you want, this can also be helpful for you building your wish list as well. Right. So in the Elise Young class, obviously, and make sure you guys subscribe and like we're on the road 20,000. But the Elise Young class. I mean, they have some pretty good characters overall, right? Obviously, Privity is a free character, but I would say Privity is the second best character here. I would say the best is the killer wife. I would say this character right here is the best character that they have that you can get access to. A lot of power um, in terms of like buffing, cooldown reduction is quite crazy right there. Um, so the killer wife is a very, very good character here that you do have access to. Guillotine is pretty decent. Still, I would say privity is pretty decent as well. Um, a lot of these characters are pretty good. I mean, I think you're going to get more of the better characters in the Tetra class, to be honest. Elysian has like a few, right? I wouldn't say Mast is that crazy, but she, you know, she could work Marciana. I would still say is a pretty good healer. Um, if you count these over her favorite item, sure. And then obviously made privity. I would say this is probably the better DPS that you have access to. I mean, she has an insane AOE. 1,000 AOE on top of attack damage, crit damage, attack buff. Like, she has pretty good damage. Um, but is she the best like DPS there? Maybe. Probably her or Guillotine, I would say. Um, Zwei is there as well, which could be very, very good for Pierce buffing as well. But you have access to these good characters on Elysian. There's not that many. Helm, I would say at this point, like, no. I would just say no for Helm at this point, right? Um, she's not bad. She's just not like, oh, but, you know, when it comes to the missiles, though, you do have some real hard hitters. Laplace is still very good. Nobody uses Senti. Nobody uses Senti, but she's still actually pretty good. Obviously, you have access to Litter, one of the characters I did say you needed to have to progress. Um, I would obviously say Laplace if you can get her favorite item, because Laplace is a very, very good character. She's strong as fuck. She's strong as hell. I um, mean, it's a family-friendly channel. She's fat. She's strong as heck, right? Um, you have access to Maxwell, very, very good buffer. You have access to Tia and Naga, another duo that was on that list right there. Very good. If it comes to PvP, you have access to Jackal, um, E-Leg if you need help for bosses, right? I feel like Missilist is where you're going to get more like the support type characters, right? <laughs> Literally, um, Litter, Tia, Maxwell, Naga, Tia, E-Leg, Toe for the shotgun team, um, Iron is a very good DPS, very, very powerful DPS that you can get access to as well. Um, and then obviously, like I said, Laplace before is another good option you can get access to. You have like some healers here, like Pepper. That's probably it. But even still, um, you do have very, you do have access to a lot of these hard hitter characters, right? Um, it, it really is just that simple. And then when it comes to the Tetra line, um, this one is like, you can't even complain with Tetra, right? Alice is a free character now, so you can't complain. You have obviously Blanc and Noir and Rouge. Rouge is actually, this character has five more days, obviously, that we're going to start getting Phantom and Quincy, but 
this character's gonna get on the wish list, y'all. Like you guys realize, when Rouge gets on the wish list, three out of five Tetra characters on your wish list is gonna be bu- the Bunny Girls, right? But yeah, let's be for real. <laughs> three out of five of the the literally three out of five of Tetra is going to be the Bunny Girls, and that's quite crazy. Well, I mean, I guess the seven 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 squad because Rouge isn't a Bunny Girl, but the seven 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 squad, right? But you have. Blanc, Rouge, Noir, Alice, you have access to. Rupee, I would still say the somewhat decent burst too. Not really the go-to, but still decent. Viper, if you get her favorite item, very, very good. Volume, the pretty decent burst one. Axia, if you get her favorite item, very freaking good. Um, If you do need sustain and stuff like that, this combo right here, Bay and Biscuit combo, is kind of like quite crazy for that survivability. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, You have a very good, very, very, very powerful healer here. Like, you have access. Let's not make it seem like this game you only need Pilgrims to win. Let's stop because Tetra has it all. And same as Missiles. These kind of have what you need, right? This Bunny Alice is a freaking powerful healer a uh, very very good healer right the only issue is that she's on a 40 second cooldown and you need another burst one but she is a very 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 good healer not to mention she does also what have a stacking stuff like the stacking buff as well like let's stop playing this is a very 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 good healer right obviously characters like doll i would say fell off you do have like bunny soda as well who i wouldn't say is like I would say this is like something you can do with the shotgun team. I would say the shotgun team you can do something with this, but overall, like you have, oh, you have access. So that's not act like you need pilgrims in this game. You could probably win. Probably you definitely can win with a lot of these characters. If I had a team of, let's say, my team was Alice, Rouge, Blanc, and then I had, when I say Alice, I meant Bunny Alice. Bunny Alice rouge blanc so that's a burst one burst one burst two and then my burst three was either free to play alice or even shit like laplace or ein i could pro- probably i could get through the game i could easily get through the game yeah they're not pilgrims but let's not make it seem like oh you only need pilgrims to get by this game no that's not true pilgrims are going to help you get through the game faster yeah if my team is crown naga red hood modernia and litter yeah, I'm getting by this game quite quickly. But other than that, um, you're getting by. So Nikkei did a good job, right? And that's probably the title of this video. Nikkei did a good job or very good job, Nikkei, because you guys did not make it like, oh, you have to have festival level characters to be able to participate in this game. You have way you have so much power here in your wish list. Y'all don't even have a clue. So, hey. Just these are just some names you guys can build your wishes how you want to, right? I guess I didn't explain all of them. Obviously, Soda the bunny go for the shotgun team. Um, Alice is a fantastic killer, Bay Biscuit are great, uh, like tank sustain characters. X is a fantastic DPS outburst one if you get her favorite item. If you get her favorite item, Blanc is a fantastic all around, um, sustain support. Viper is a good DPS if you get her favorite item. Volume is a good buffer. Noise is pretty decent as well. Um, noise is pretty decent as well when it comes to healing taunting. Noir is mainly there to support Blanc, but you do also get some ammo out of her. Obviously, Alice is a fantastic DPS. Ein is a fantastic DPS. Litter is a fantastic buffer. Laplace, if you get her favorite item, fantastic DPS. Jackal is literally sustaining PvP. Like, you're not, you're not. It's going to be tough. Um, Tia, Naga are buffers. Like I said, Ein's an insane DPS. And then when it comes here, you have insane support from um, D Killer Wife for cooldown reduction, Pierce bu- damage buffs. Marciana is a producing healer. Made Purity is obviously a. Um, pretty decent dps for elysian and then same thing kind of goes for guillotine and the other privity i wouldn't say this privity is a good dps but she's a very good supporter um character on your team right there's a lot of good characters here like miranda's a decent burst one but i wouldn't recommend like to like okay i wouldn't recommend 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 but she's not bad at all right same thing as why these are like specific types of buffers but overall 
Yes, Nikkei did a good job. You do have access to a lot of powerful characters from just these wish lists, if you guys didn't already know. I'm not to mention when you're serving on wish lists, you have a chance at these pilgrims. So if you do not have these pilgrims, these are some characters you can run, right? These are just honestly some characters you can run. Like, let me show you guys a team real quick. Like, this is just like an example, obviously. I just really put down like a team that would actually do decent, but you have a, like a decent team or you can get some real life damage out of a team like this you have some pretty good sustain um if you need more heals then again you could take maxwell off and put in um where is she this alice this is a team that i actually like running um like this wait right now you have double healers and then you have rouge buffing up both of the healers you have alice buffing up the both of the heals that output um you have rouge increasing max hp and stuff like that um you have laplace with her insane damage you have iron with her insane damage like, these are little things that you can do without pilgrims by the way so yes you don't need pilgrims to play this game if you were not already aware <laughs> subscribe like i'm gonna see you guys next time bye